Welcome back, everyone. This is the last video in the Euler chapter in the chapter 21. So in this one, we're covering the backwards Euler method. And you can see from the function that um, y of m plus 1, it's a function of yn plus h times the function at xn1 and yn1, x plus 1. So uh, in this one, we will have to do a little bit of algebra because uh, it's kind of like the values are kind of like a function of, of themselves. Um, but it's pretty straightforward the example we're going to show. We, we're only going to do one step and compare it to the other values that we got from our previous video. And in this one, we have the same equation, y prime is equal to x plus 3y. Same initial condition, same step, step size. So uh, if you want to see how this one compares to the um, perpendicular method, there should be a video here in the description. All right, so once again, from initial conditions, we get that y of 0 equals 1. So that means that x of 0 equals 0, and y of 0 is equal to 1. This is not our first step. This is just our initial conditions. So we get that x0, comma y0, it's equal to 0, comma 1. So let's do one step. So we're going to try to find y uh, x1, and x1 is equal to x0 plus h. So that's just 0 plus 0.1 equals to 0.1. In this case, y1 is equals to y0 plus h times our function and x1, y1. So keep that in mind. So that means that we need to solve y1 and it's equals to y0 plus something with a uh, y1. So you can see y1 is equals to y0 plus h times x1 plus 3y1. So we do know what x1 is. We don't know why one y1 is yet, so you have to do maybe some algebra in here. But let's do two the values that we do know what we have. So y0 is equal to 1, and we already know that x1 is equal to 0.1. So plugging it in, we get something like this, right? So it's 1 plus 0.1 times 0.1 plus 3y1. So let's distribute that 0.1, let's distribute that step size, and we're going to end up with uh, y1 is equal to 1 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.3y1. Once again, we have y1 on both sides, and we need to solve for y1, so this is the only method where basically we are actually doing algebra to solve for our variable. So uh, we can combine, of course, the numbers. So we have that y1 is equal to 1.01 plus 0.3y1. All right, so then let's set the 0.3y1 to the other side. To combine it with otherwise, we have now y1 minus 0.3y1 is equals to 1.01. Um, so we have 1y1 minus 0.3, that is uh, equal to 0.7y1. Uh, if you factor out the y1, you get, you're going to get, of course, 1 minus 0.3, which gives you 0.7. And 0.7y1 is equal to 1.01. Now, now you can see already what we're going to do. We want to solve for y1, so we divide by 0.7. So we get that y1 is equal to 1.01 over 0.7. And when you do this calculation, we get that y1 is equal to 1.443. And this is basically our result. So plug it in in a uh, coordinate form, and you get that x1, y1, it's equal to 2.1 and 1.443. So this is the method for backwards Euler. And remember, if you, once again, if you want to see the other video, it should be over, uh, over here in the description. Um, but for that one, the value that we got for the regular Euler was 1.3. For the improved Euler, it was 1.35. Um, and for backwards Euler, we're getting 1.443. So you can see, at least for this problem, it was not as accurate. Maybe there are other problems where this value, uh, this method is, is really useful. Uh, maybe like linear regression uh, or other uh, values. Uh, where this function maybe just not the best, but um, you can see you can still get an approximation without having to like find all the other calculations and so on. You still get uh, something um, at least kind of close. All right, so that it's it's it for this video. Backwards to is pretty forward. There's nothing to to go over too much. Um, so this concludes the chapter twenty one on the numerical methods, and I will see you in the next one, which is the Fourier series. Until then, good luck.